I love turquoise. Hello artists, welcome to 2021. Yeah, okay. So 2020 is done, it's over. We never have to live it over again, thank God, okay. So with that being said, we're gonna try and focus on the actual good parts of good farts, okay. What we're actually going to do is focus a little bit today on what was actually good about 2020 for artists. And then also hopefully to kind of inspire you and help you think a little bit about where you want to head as an artist yourself. And that is one of my goals too as well. So if that sounds like a good deal, keep watching. But first, let me talk about something that is near and dear to me, our online courses, and that was part of what I loved about 2020. It really enriched my soul. It made me push myself as an artist, especially the ones that were daily, and just basically uh, 2020 opened up an opportunity for everybody to learn more and education is everything because it gives you knowledge and knowledge is power as we all know it just it's really a rewarding experience to be able to walk away and say you know what I know how to do this I know that skill I made something from nothing because of this course and I know this because of this course and it actually made me a better artist take it away Skillshare <laughs> I don't know why they're over there. <laughs> you guessed it, folks. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics like watercolor, photography, colored pencils, and more. Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and your skill level. So for those of you who are looking to create and learn, this is your creative haven. The best part is that there are tons of classes to fit your schedule. And I'm going to be finishing up this class by Arlisha Yetzer, which is a gouache masterclass focusing on portraits. Arlisha has a lovely demeanor and guides you step-by-step -step through painting a value sketch to diving into three separate color portraits. I've always loved her artwork and I'm excited to finish this class. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership, and plus their annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Learning online is about as easy and affordable as it gets with Skillshare, and it's a lot better and a lot more fun than most New Year's resolutions, let's face it. So let's start off your new year with Skillshare. Hello, welcome to the voiceover. So initially I had recorded everything in front of my camera, uh, but then whenever it came to editing it, I it was just a rambling mess. So you get my voice instead of my face. So you're going to see some of my Inktober time lapses and I'm just showing off some of the work that I did for 2020 here. So I hope y'all enjoy it. All right, let's talk about what 2020 was for artists. In my experience and in my humble opinion, the pendulum seemed to swing in the direction of inspiration and production for artists. A lot of people got on fire for things, got really inspired. And then some others, it just, it swung in the other, other direction, can't talk, other direction of procrastination and being uninspired. A lot of artists just really didn't have it in themselves. So I believe some of this was just personal reactions to what was going on in 2020. And, um, but I want to know, how did 2020 affect you in this way? Were you on fire most of the year and producing lots of artwork? Or did you find yourself blocked? I mean, it's okay either way. We can, you know, I was both, actually. Um, 2020 was a lot to handle. And for me personally, there were days and even months where I was producing art and experimenting with a lot of new techniques. And I was really inspired. I even bought an iPad Pro and I fell in love with Procreate. I'm not ready to post some of that work yet. Um, you can find it on Instagram. But I still have a lot to learn and I love it. But believe me, there were days where I didn't even feel like drawing or painting, but I would pep talk myself into doing this. So I just showed up and started drawing. I mean, it sounds simple, but it worked. And I also learned a technique where you warm up with a one minute sketch and a few three minute sketches and then a five minute sketch. And it really helped me bridge the gap between feeling like I wasn't feeling it and um, then feeling confident that I was ready to draw actually. So, you know, maybe you can take this technique into 2021 for your practice. So you'll feel more motivated and inspired, but there is a wonderful channel that I want to mention called Tr Struthless. Ooh, I almost said truthless, but it's Struthless. He has a, an amazing video. It's called Advice for Perfectionists and Procrastinators, the 70% Rule. And it's one of the most important videos you'll ever watch as an artist. And I don't want to spoil it, but after watching it, I felt like there was just this weight lifted off of my shoulders as I tend to be a perfectionist and a procrastinator to myself at times.
So tell me what worked for you if you found yourself lacking motivation. Um, I'd love to know. I always love exchanging tips with other artists on how to get the ball rolling. So leave a comment in the comment section. So I tend not to focus too much on the negative things about 2020, but I do actually miss either going to gallery shows or participating in them. Do you feel me? Do ya? I mean... Just the idea of being able to connect with my kindred spirits locally um, is something that I took for granted. It really was and until that privilege was t taken away from me. So I think that's how people feel about a lot of things in 2020. I would see these memes at the beginning of the pandemic about how we don't uh, mind being quarantined because of our own isolation in the studio. But as it turns out, artists are social creatures too. So hopefully we can get that going in the next year or so, so we can get back to being um, physically amongst each other and enjoying each other's artwork. So sometimes our art can temporarily be our enemy when we're struggling with it. So when your passion becomes your problem, it's good to have a backup. And it's always great to have another passion or hobby to go to if your art as your main focus is becoming stressful to you. So I find myself reaching for my guitar more and more because of this. And I'm still a beginner, but there's scientific evidence that learning an instrument is even better than listening to music and that it increases the gray matter in your brain. There's also evidence that suggests that performance Performing music actually releases endorphins in the brain as well. So that's our body's natural opiates. So I highly recommend learning music or if that's not your thing, um, something else that benefits you and takes the load off of trying to move ahead with your artwork when you feel stuck. By the way, this portrait was one of my absolute favorites of 2020. I just, I loved how the colors turned out and I used Dr. P.H. Martin's concentrated watercolor on her hair. I just, I thought that the colors turned out lovely and she kind of reminds me of like what little orphan Annie would look like if she grew up. <laughs> so anyways, so 2021, what do we want to focus on? What do you want to focus on? What would make you happy with your artwork? I think that's the, the pivotal question here. Have you been wanting to try a new medium or just find some more time to sketch daily? I mean, it really is just something that we have to um, ask ourselves. I feel like asking ourselves uh, what would actually make us happier in our journey as artists is really essential. And it's something that I know that we will continually have to check in with ourselves as long as we're creating art. And it doesn't matter if you're a fine artist or a musician or a videographer. I think this is a, a really important question. It's a very simple question, but it's a very important question. So concerning this, I think as we head into 2021, that embracing our greatness is more than okay. So um, let me repeat that. Embracing your greatness is more than okay. It's absolutely essential. I mean, even when in reality, maybe we could use some improvement on our skills, the content of what we're working on is the heart and soul of it. I mean, realizing that the work of art is a co-creation co between you and that artwork. It's a relationship from its inception to the completion of it. And it's okay to not only believe, but know you'll get it completed in a way that touches other people's lives. And um, how we feel about our art can sometimes affect our moods. So we might as well start believing in our capabilities as well, right? I mean, <laughs> this is also something I have to work on too, by the way. Um, a lot of the things I mention in videos um, are also things that I'm kind of using as reminders for myself. I do know sketching daily is something that I want to get back to doing because it just seems like everything flows more smoothly when I'm creating every day or like nearly every day. But I also think being realistic though is important too. Like I know that I have other things going on like creating content, playing guitar, raising my teenage son. That's a big one. <laughs> so I thought about it that maybe I won't necessarily be able to complete a full work of art every day. But as long as I'm sitting down with my sketchbook or piece of paper and working on something every day, it'll become more tangible that way. And I believe setting big goals are absolutely necessary, but the small ones are really what help you accomplish the big ones. And I know sometimes that even whenever I hear the word goals, I, I sort of get intimidated because I it makes me feel like I have to know everything right then and there of what I'm going to do. And, you know, that's just not true. I mean, sometimes just having a loose outline of what you'd like to accomplish and then leaving some wiggle room for changes along the way helps take some of that weight off of the end result. 
I know I'd like to personally focus on creating more inspiring and personal content that's engaging as well. Something more than just the product reviews, uh, more of a variety. I'd still do the product reviews and create content that focuses on products, but I also want to connect with you and share my journey as an artist and a human being. Um, I figure it's about time that I do that. I've been on YouTube almost four and a half years, so it's pretty much overdue at this point. I want to thank each and every one of you who has been here for me over the years and continues to do so. Um, I really, really appreciate it. It's honestly, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't continue to make YouTube videos. <laughs> so, um, and I really, I enjoy making YouTube videos for you all. So thank you so much for being here and being a part of my experience and our experience together. So, okay, here's the wrap up. What do you want to focus on in 2021? Will 2021 be your year, quote unquote? I mean, that's kind of a cheesy saying, but I mean, I believe that we can believe in ourselves and do whatever we set out to do, really. I mean, we have that gift. We have that advantage. And so I say, let's just go for it because we earned it with 2020 being what it was. So might as well just go for it in 2021. I will see you next year, everybody. Thank you for being here. And I will leave you with this Elton John time lapse and then i've got a few things to tell you okay so hang in there for just one more minute and i will talk to you later quick thing before i go i have received some really cool things from christmas um, this may not look like much but it's a camera dolly and this is going to give me some nice um, swooping cinematic dramatic effects and uh, it'll give us some nice close-ups as well and then we have here the face charts by Lisa Kondrovich and these are the templates and this goes along with her face chart book which I have I don't have it right here right now but we're going to play with some makeup and paint with some makeup next time well it may not be the next episode but it will be very soon I'm excited to dive right into these these are some of my favorite gifts and then we also have the art and fly booster pack and I plan to do a review on this as well make sure that you check out the new merch below I know this is a neonish bowie but guess what I have my own creation of neon bowie down below it's the first of many that will be out so this is a limited run, I believe. I don't think I'm going to keep it up too long, maybe a couple months. I don't know. We haven't quite figured out everything yet. But if you would like to support this channel, that would be a great way to do it. I really appreciate it if you go ahead and purchase it. And I will see you next time, everybody. Keep creating. But I feel like I had a point. <laughs>